My name is Jason Stone with SAI Flexi Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Suma flatbed cutter. Once you have the driver installed, I'm going to show you how to set up your cut files and send them to GoProduce. Before we install the driver in Production Manager, you will need to open your GoProduce software from Suma and download your material database and import this into Production Manager. In GoProduce, go to the General tab and we're going to click on the Create RIP XML file. From here, you want to save this file somewhere on your computer. In this example, I'm saving it to my desktop. Now that you have downloaded your material database, you are ready to install the Suma GoProduce driver in Production Manager. Open the Setup menu at the top of the screen and select Add Setup. You will see the window I have on my screen and you're going to select Suma and the GoProduce driver. Click on the next button and select your connection as file and select the destination folder you want to send your SGP cut files to. Select the finish button and the driver is now all set up in GoProduce. Now that you have the driver installed, we first need to import the material database you saved earlier. To do this, right click on the GoProduce tab and select default job properties. Next, we're going to click the third cut tab and at the bottom of the screen, we're going to select cutter options. On this screen, we're going to select the Browse button and we're going to direct it to our XML file. I saved it on my desktop, so I'm going to direct there. I'm going to select the Material Manager and hit Open. You can see that it populates the screen with my different methods and materials. From here, all we have to do is hit Apply and OK. Our next step is to set up the SUMA methods that you plan on using. In this example, I'm going to set up kiss cut and through cut to use self-adhesive vinyl. The first thing we want to do is import the SUMA methods library into Flexi. To do this, we're going to right click down on our color swatch table, go to open table, and I've already directed it to the SUMA library. We're going to select methods and open. And now you can see my Suma Methods library has been loaded into Flexi. Next, we need to go into Production Manager and configure these to our settings. In Production Manager, I'm going to right click on my driver, go to Default Job Properties, and click on the third tab, our Cut tab, and come down and select the Set Cut Line Color. The first one we're going to set up is our Kiss Cut. It needs to be named exactly like the SUMA method, which is a capital K, lowercase c, and we're going to set it to red like our swatch. Once we set this and hit OK, we need to hit our edit button, and here's where we're going to select all our settings. So we're going to change this to a kiss cut. We've already got self-adhesive and the material set at a thin vinyl. We're going to hit apply and OK, now we're going to do the same thing for our through cut. If we hit the set cut line color, this time we're going to set through cut with a capital T and lowercase c, and we're going to change the color to blue to match the swatch library. We're going to hit OK. OK once more, and then we're going to edit this. We're going to change our method to through cut, and you can see it's already set up to self-adhesive in our vinyl. We just hit apply, okay, apply, and okay, and our methods are now all set up. Now that we have our driver set up and our methods all configured, we need to create some contour cut lines and send our job over for production. First, we're gonna select our graphic. We're gonna go to the effects menu and contour cut. You can see my contour cut line appearing on the graphic. And in Design Central, we've got some options we can change. We can create a contour, a rectangle, or an ellipse. I can set my offset. I can even do a negative here to create somewhat of a bleed on the graphic. And then we need to select our SUMA method. This first one, I'm going to select my kiss cut. 
We're gonna click the green check mark to apply it. Now we're gonna select and apply a through cut. It's the same way we're gonna go to effects, contour cut, I'm gonna change it to a rectangle and we're gonna change it to our through cut method. I'm gonna select that, hit the apply button and now my graphic's ready for production. We're gonna click on our rip and print button and you can already see in the preview that my marks and everything are being applied. To double check on everything, we're gonna click on the contour cut tab. You can see that it's sending it to my Suma Go Produce. Um, my marks are set for Suma Flex marks. I've got an options button where I can change options. If I wanna add white or yellow to the marks if I'm printing on clear material. Any of these options are up to you to change. You can see that it's recognized a kiss cut and a through cut. And at this point, we just need to send the job over. When I hit the send button, it's gonna send my print job and my cut job to production manager. Under my printer, you can see my print job has been sent over. And under my go produce driver is my cuts. For my cuts, all I have to do is double click on here and check a couple things. Again, on the cut tab, I just like to verify that everything's been sent over correctly. If I double click on my kiss cut, you can see it's set to kiss cut and self-adhesive vinyl. It set this up when we set up our lines through our default properties. Next, I'm gonna check on my through cut and it's set to through cut, self-adhesive vinyl. So we are all set to go at this time. I'm gonna hit okay and send the job over. Flexi's now creating that SGP job, dropping it in the folder that we designated. The next step is to open it up and go produce. Let's jump ahead and I'm gonna show you how to create everything in your design with your marks and save it as a PDF and send it over to a third party rip. To do this, we're gonna come back to Flexi. I've got my marks, my cut lines already created. I'm gonna select everything again, and this time I'm gonna to go to Effects and Contour Cut Mark. You can see in Design Central, I've selected Sumaflex. You can see my barcode and my marks. My options is here in Design Central. Again, I've got, I can add white or yellow if I'm printing on clear material. We're gonna hit OK. We're gonna click the green check mark to apply this. And from here, you can save this file as a PDF and print it. The difference in outputting the cut file here is that once we apply the registration marks in the design, next to our rip and print button, we have a cut option that has a red little oval below it. If I select this, we can select my cut tab. You can see my kiss cut, my through cut. And this time we're gonna hit the send button and it's gonna send that SGP file over to our designated folder. The last step is to open up GoProduce, open our SGP file and send it to the cutter. I'm gonna open up my GoProduce, go to import file. I'm gonna direct it to where I told Flexi to drop those SGP files. I'm gonna select the file here hit open, and there you go. You can see my kiss cut in red, my through cut in blue. At this point, we're ready to send it over to the cutter. I hope you found this video helpful in getting your Suma flatbed cutter set up in Flexi. Mm -hmm.